Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We already know that a triangle in which all the three sides are of equal length is called an equilateral triangle. If you measure the three angles, you will note that the measure of the three angles will also be equal. That would mean that for an equilateral triangle, angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C and each of them is of 60 degrees. Hence we conclude that an, in an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal and all the three angles are equal and the measure of the angle is 60 degrees. Now consider isosceles triangle ABC. Then a triangle in which two sides are of equal length is called an isosceles triangle. So say AB is equal to AC. Also there is a relation between its angles and the relation is that the base angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. That means in this particular case angle opposite to side AB is angle C and angle opposite to side AC is angle B so angle B is equal to angle C. Base angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Hence we come to the conclusion that in an isosceles triangle two sides have same length and the base angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. Let us study right angle triangle. Let ABC be a right angle triangle. Then the sides have some special name. The side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. While the other two sides are called the legs of the right angle triangle. Right angle triangles have a very important property called the Pythagoras property which states that it states that in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. That means that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the legs. It basically means that if we draw a square on the side AB and side BC then the area of the square on the side AB is AB square and area of the square drawn on the side BC is BC square. If we add these two areas, the area will be equal to the area of the square that will be drawn on the hypotenuse as its area will be AC square. Hence, the square that can be drawn on the hypotenuse is the biggest one and its area is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares that can be drawn on the legs of the right triangle. Let us state another property that holds for all the type of triangles. This property states that sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle 
is greater than the length of the third side that means irrespective of abc being any type of triangle if we take the sum of any two sides say ac plus ab it will be greater than the third side that is bc let us read the question is there a triangle whose sides have the length 10.2 cm 5.8 cm and 4.5 cm let us assume that such a triangle is possible then the sum of the lengths of any two sides should be greater than the third side let us check if we add 4.5 plus 5.8 it comes out to be 10.3 which is greater than the length of the third side so yes such a triangle is possible let us also check is 5.8 plus 10.2 greater than the third side third side is 4.5 cm so yes it is greater so we can say that such a triangle is possible the last combination would be 10.2 plus 4.5 it comes out to be 14.7 which is greater than the third side which is 5.8 and hence we can say that a triangle with the given measures is possible let us read the question the lengths of two sides of a triangle are 6 cm and 8 cm between which two numbers can length of the third side fall we know that the sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side and the two sides of the triangle are given to be 6 cm and 8 cm let us add them to find out the third side so the sum is coming out to be 14 and that would mean the third side has to be less than 14 but in the question we are asked two numbers between which the length of the third side falls so let us also use the result that the third side cannot be less than the difference of the two sides so let us find the difference in the length of the two sides that is 8 minus 6 which is equal to 2 and we can say that the third side has to be greater than 2 cm that means the third side of the triangle has to be greater than 2 cm but less than 14 cm